We were driven to the diet, it was the last resort. What but the difference it's made to our family is just phenomenal. Lindsay had various problems and uh, uh, Heather was looking for something, didn't really know what, and the book literally plopped off the shelf in front of her when she was in Big W and uh, looked at the information that was in it and, uh, you know, bingo, there was apparently answers to the problems. Children have changed in the last 30 years. Behaviour and learning problems, asthma, depression, youth suicide and teenage violent crime are all increasing. What our children eat has changed too. Supermarkets now control about 80% of our food, up from 20% in the 1950s. Their distribution chains encourage the use of additives in highly processed foods. As well, when fruit and vegetables are picked unripe for long shelf life, their chemical profile is changed. Sue Dengate has been writing and speaking to parents about the effects of food chemicals for more than 15 years. Parents assume that they will know if their children are affected by foods or that someone will tell them, but that's not what happens. As the level of potentially harmful food chemicals have slowly increased in our foods, their effects have crept up and have gradually come to be regarded as normal or as new illnesses that require medication. Sue's husband, Dr Howard Dengate, is a food scientist concerned about the safety of food additives. Consumers don't realise that they're not protected. You see, food additives are not tested for their effects on children's behaviour and learning before they're approved, nor are they monitored afterwards. Food regulators tell us that so few children are affected by food additives that they are not worth worrying about. But that's not what the science says. 